Now this is the Toby Eye Tracker 4C, a piece of kit that's supposed to, well, change gaming. But does it? Well, let's find out here on Anton's Hardware Channel. Well, hello there everyone and welcome to a new video over here on Anton's Hardware Channel. Now, today we're not going to do anything with our ears, we're going to do something with our eyes for a change. Because, well, over here I have the Toby Eye Tracker 4C, a piece of kit that, well, tracks your eyes on where you look at the screen and it does something with it. So, without further ado, let's take a closer look at this device. Let's start with opening the box. The box itself is a nice design, as you would expect from a Swedish product. Inside you will find the device itself. Once out of the box you'll see that it's USB. The specifications tell me it's USB 2.0. You get two metallic brackets with an adhesive, so you need to stick that on your monitor. Sorry for the dust by the way. After you attached it, you can easily attach the Toby, because it has magnets inside. If you're lucky, you can attach the Toby to the USB hub on your monitor. Once you've booted Windows, you need to install the drivers and then a setup menu. Now the setup is rather straightforward. It detects your eyes and you're off. Just look at the dots and you're all ready to go. So now that we've installed the device, let's fire up some games, starting with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So this is me playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now you can see where I look at the blue screen, <laughs> blue circle. All very cool. Now what's also very cool is if I move my hat to the left right it will widen the view of the screen another cool feature is if i look at some of the brighter parts of the screen the rest of the screen will go a bit darker if i look a bit more at the darker sides of the screen the rest will get brighter a very cool functionality and something that's also a cool functionality is the aim assist but for that we need to move a bit more down so for instance if i want to shoot that guy i just Point my arrow of that guy, that guy, maybe that one there, maybe the pole, maybe the column, whatever. But as you can see, the, the aiming isn't that accurate. So it's not really as useful as you think it is. And this is me playing Seven Days to Die. And here again, you have the extended view up and down. And as you can see, I've already broken my leg. I'm not moving that fast. But I must say it feels a bit weird to use it. And still you can look at what I'm looking at. Now, a cool feature in this game is that if I look at my tool belt, it will show. A cool feature which is called a clean user interface. As you can see, I'm playing the Neves game. I haven't seen that many zombies, but I did fall off a mountain, fall off a mountain, sorry. And now this is me playing Tomb Raider, or rather Shadow of the Tomb, Tomb Raider. A really cool game. And also, this has the functionality that where you extend, extend your viewing range. As you can see, there are already some dead birds on the ground because they are making too much noise for recording. But the auto-aim in this game doesn't work as good as the other games. So let's take a close look if we see something. There should be deer around here. Over there. See, it... It will follow it even more. It will always give you a well, a sort of a headshot. 
and then it's gone. I think I had it, but not really sure. So it's even more cheating in this game than in other games. But though, it's a really cool feature. Now besides all these cool gaming features, this also has something else and it's Windows Hello support. Now what you do, if you don't know what it is, what you do is, well you just sit in front of the camera when you start up Windows, you will do your thing and it will automatically detect your face and see all the dimension and everything and it will log you in just like that. So no more passwords, just sitting in front of your monitor, it will log you in automatically. So these are all very nice functionalities and it's really cool to use. But there are some downsides that I'd like to address. Now as I said before, this device is USB 2.0. And well, not many motherboards these days use USB 2.0. Nearly everyone has 3.0, 3.1 uh, or maybe something else, Firewire or whatever. But that's not the issue. The issue is that this device uses one and a half to two watts of power, something that not all USB 3.0 motherboards can supply. Now, I was lucky enough to have a motherboard that could provide more power. You can go into the BIOS and you can set all different things, but not every motherboard uses this. So there may be an issue to get this device even working on newer machines. Now the second thing I'd like to address is the length of the cable, which is just 80 centimeters. Now if your computer is on the ground, uh, under your desk, uh, this cable is way too short. If you're lucky enough to have a monitor with a USB hub like I do, or uh, maybe your keyboard has, uh, has an, an, an USB connector, uh, that may work. But Toby themselves, they say you need to use a powered USB extender. And third is the list of games that support the Toby IX, which is rather tiny and the games on it are getting a bit old. Now I don't know if there are other games that will support the Toby, but I do know that a lot of Ubisoft games do support the OBI, Toby Eye Tracker, but that's about it. Now can, you can use another piece of kit. Uh, that will increase the games that will use uh, the Utobi Eye Tracker. Like, for instance, you can use it with uh, Seven Days to Die. But still, uh, the list is still very small.
up. Now the Toby Eye Tracker 4C is a really cool product. I mean, it adds a lot of features. Uh, the widening of the screen, you moving up and down and everything. Also the, the, the brightness, depending on where you look at the screen, the Windows Hello functionality. These are all really cool functionalities. But is it enough to get one? Well, I got my eye tracker 4C for about 195 euros, which is really expensive for what you get. And then there's also the issues that are there. Uh, let's go over them. First off is the extended view, which is really cool, but it is sort of jerky around and isn't smooth or anything. It doesn't really follow your head. It's sort of uh, all over the place. Secondly is the aim assist, which isn't that precise. I mean, if I look at something, as I showed in the video, it doesn't always land on the spot where you're, well, looking at. It's sort of in the range there. And the time you need to adjust for that, well, discrepancy, uh, for to re-aim, it, well, it sort of takes the same amount of time for you to uh, aim regularly, <laughs> like normal. So will it give you more of a bigger high score with more kills? Well, I doubt it. And last but not least, it will eat away resources. Now, on average, it uses about, well, 5 to 6 percent of your CPU cycles. Now, I have an Intel 9700K in my system, which isn't a, well, a really old processor, but it's not one of the slowest. Uh, I saw some peaks in there which uh, are up to 11% of CPU cycles, which is a lot, I think, and it will eat away from the frames per second. Um, I usually run my games at 57, 375 frames per second, but when using the eye tracker without changing any settings, it will drop to 70, even to sometimes 65 frames per second, which is sort of annoying. But there is a group of gamers that will love this device, and those are The Sims people. No, I'm not talking about the game The Sims, I'm talking about the people who like to play simulation games like uh, Space Simulations, uh, Euro Trucker games, or maybe Formula One uh, games. The widening of your view may be very interesting, and it will add to the, well, dynamics of the game. Also, there's also the top of the uh, group of top players, the, the pro gamers, which will use this to show people like I did in my videos where people are looking and what they are doing. So for them, this may also be an interesting investment. But will I use one? Ah, no, for 159 euros, even though I have one, I will not use it because the only functionality that I will use it for is the Windows Hello functionality. And that's not nearly enough to war warrant the 159 euros. Talking about money, there is a newer uh, Toby Eye Tracker, which is the 5, which will set you back 229 euros. Now, I've asked Toby if they could send me a review sample so I could create a review about it. Um, and when I get that, I will surely create a review or a video about that one. But until then, I hope to see you in the next video. See you then. Bye bye.